What if I told you there's a spacecraft that's flown over 35 missions to the ISS slashing costs with reusability and proven reliability? That's SpaceX's Cargo Dragon, the undisputed champ of orbital resupply. Enter Qingzhou China's brand new contender. Inspired by Dragon, but packed with advanced features like intelligent inventory systems, it's ready to revolutionize orbital logistics and accelerate China's lunar exploration, especially as NASA's Artemis faces delays. But no matter how advanced it seems, Qingzhou has an Achilles heel that makes it look small next to Dragon's proven legacy. In fact, this weakness reflects a critical limitation in China's broader space program. Watch today's Tech Map episode to see how these two spacecraft truly stack up and why in space experience and innovation are both decisive. Unveiled in Shanghai in late April, Qingzhou's design was inspired by Dragon, along with Europe's ATV and Japan's HTV, to create a compact two-ton cargo hauler. Qingzhou, or Lightship in Chinese, is China's next-generation cargo spacecraft, built for resupplying the Tiangong space station and future orbital missions. Unlike Dragon's two-module setup, Qingzhou goes all-in with a single-capsule design packing 27 cubic meters of cargo and a two-ton capacity. In contrast, SpaceX Cargo Dragon uses a traditional two-module design, a pressurized capsule, 9.3 M3, and a separate unpressurized trunk, 37 MIT-3. The spacecraft supports a launch payload capacity of 6,000 Q13 Su-2 I-28 LBs to low Earth orbit, such as the ISS, with a return capacity of 3,000 Kilo 6 6114 LBS. Qingzhou's compact design isn't just sleek, it's flexible. Qingzhou can ride on multiple rocket types, not just a dedicated launcher like Falcon 9, giving China more options for orbital logistics. Inside it features a four-tier shelving system with 40 compartments ready to handle all kinds of cargo. But here's where Qingzhou really stands out. It's essentially a high-tech warehouse in space. Using image recognition algorithms and high-def cameras, it tracks inventory in real-time, no manual logging required. Astronauts can even search by voice, instantly accessing the cargo database for faster, smarter mission operations. Dragon great at hauling cargo, but it doesn't automatically track inventory like this. Qingzhou is stepping into orbit not just as a cargo carrier, but as a smart astronaut-centered logistics platform. One standout feature Qingzhou's state-of-the-art cold chain system, designed to transport up to 300 liters of temperature-sensitive cargo using fully modular reefer containers. Each container holds 60 liters and operates independently, meaning you can mix and match temperature zones. Need fresh vegetables in one compartment and frozen medical samples in another? No problem. Dragon can handle cold storage too, but it doesn't offer this level of modular flexibility. Taking a page from SpaceX Qingzhou is built to be reusable, and that's where the single capsule design really shines. Think of Dragon like a two-part toy, a front backpack, the capsule, and a big back wagon, the trunk that gets discarded after each flight. Qingzhou One, simple capsule, like a single lunchbox with everything inside. With Dragon separating and discarding the trunk takes time, tools, and safety checks. Qingzhou skips all that. One piece means quicker turnaround, easier inspections, and faster reloads after landing like washing one lunchbox instead of two. Its compact, simple shape also fits a variety of rockets without the custom adapters Dragon needs for its trunk. That flexibility allows fast launches on whatever rocket is ready, making back-to-back -back reuse missions more efficient. Fewer parts mean shorter prep time before liftoff weeks faster than Dragon Perfect for keeping supply lines to the station flowing smoothly. If Qingzhou goes into operation, it could spark a quiet revolution in China's space program, while also building the skills and infrastructure needed for the lunar race. Its frequent cost-effective resupply missions to Tiangong, 
free up budget and resources for moon-bound projects like Chang'e 7, the kind of quick, efficient wins China pulled off with U-2-2 on the moon's far side in 2019, all while Artemis continues to face delays. Operating a reusable intelligent cargo spacecraft like Qingzhou isn't just about sending supplies, it's a training ground for docking, re-entry, and autonomous operations. These are the exact technologies China will need for lunar orbiters' landers and eventually building the International Lunar Research Station ILRS by the 2030s. Qingzhou can auto-dock with Tiangong using robotic systems, and the same tech could let Chang'e 7's lander and rover dock at the moon's south pole to hunt for water ice in craters potentially beating NASA's delayed Artemis 3. On its way back, Qingzhou re-enters Earth safely, like Chang'e 5 Tsex, brought back moon rocks in 2020, cutting costs for future moon cargo missions and stocking robotic bases before humans even arrive. That said, while Qingzhou gives China strategic advantages, it still lags behind the U.S. in proven technology and large-volume transport capacity. Qingzhou has just been unveiled and is slated for launch in September 2025. That means it still has plenty of time for testing before earning full certification. Meanwhile, Dragon has been flying for over a decade with an almost flawless record. This operational experience gives SpaceX a huge edge. Decades of docking re-entry and orbital operations have set the stage for the next big leap starship. Here's the reality. There's a huge gap between China's current capabilities, small spacecraft and rockets, and the US's long-term potential, which includes sending full-sized manned spacecraft to the moon. The payload difference isn't just big, it's staggering. It's not even in the same ballpark. At best, it's barely in the same sport. And that gap comes down to one undeniable advantage Starship. Starship is designed to deliver 100 metric tons of cargo to the lunar surface, and it can also serve as a manned lander and habitation module. As Elon Musk often says, there is no substitute for mass to orbit. The first Starship HLS could deliver more material to the moon than all other lunar landings combined in history. So yes, China is making impressive strides, but at the end of the day, they don't have SpaceX. Without Elon Musk pushing the envelope, the current space race could look very different. Yet, as long as Elon and SpaceX keep delivering, the US-led lunar programs are poised to maintain clear superiority well into the 21st century. At the end of the day, space isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. And in marathons, proven systems win. Dragon has decades of experience, countless missions and lessons learned the hard way. That's why SpaceX can confidently take the next leap with Starship, while newcomers like Qingzhou still have a long testing road ahead. So next time you watch a new spacecraft debut, remember innovation is exciting, but experience carries the finish line. Proven systems don't just survive, they dominate. In addition to Qingzhou, China is developing a reusable shuttle called Haiolong, designed to ferry cargo to and from its Tiangong space station. Haiolong's development comes as China plans to significantly expand its space station in the coming years. This shuttle could offer a cost-effective and versatile way to maintain operations in orbit. Much like NASA's retired space shuttle Haiolong is a winged spacecraft, it launches atop a rocket and lands on a runway like an airplane. It features a blunt-nosed fuselage and large swept-back delta wings. This design blends the characteristics of both spacecraft and aircraft, enabling it to reach orbit and return safely to Earth. Interestingly, Haiolong weighs less than half of China's Tianzhou cargo spacecraft, which is currently used for resupplying Tiangong making it a lighter and potentially more efficient option for future missions. Now, let's take into the most intriguing part, comparing Haolong to Dragon, China's Haolong spaceplane, 
and SpaceX's Dragon represent distinct approaches to reusable cargo spacecraft with different strengths and capabilities. How Long is a winged reusable cargo space plane about 10 meters long with an 8 meter wingspan and a mass near 7,000 kilometers. It is designed for runway horizontal landing and aircraft-like reuse, featuring a rear docking port and an accessible cargo bay. Haolong's payload capacity to the Tiangong Space Station is around 1,800 to 2,000 kg, and it will launch on the commercial Chinese Zhukai 3 rocket. As of 2025, Haolong is in the engineering development and testing phase. At this point, I can't help but get a sense of deja vu with Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. Both are ambitious winged cargo shuttles, but if history is any guide, how long might still be several years away from becoming operational. In contrast, SpaceX's Dragon is a capsule-style reusable spacecraft, approximately 8.1 meters in length, with no wings weighing around 12,000 Talscore in its crude configuration. It supports vertical propulsive landings on Earth and is capable of multiple reuses per capsule. The Dragon can carry much more of combined pressurized and unpressurized cargo and is versatile enough for both cargo and crew missions to the International Space Station as well as private missions. Dragon launches atop SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets and boasts over 35 successful cargo missions completed to date with ongoing crew flights. While Haolong's winged design offers a unique cargo delivery and runway landing method potentially lowering turnaround times and maintenance complexity, its lower payload capacity and current unproven flight status mean Dragon still leads in operational maturity, mission versatility, and cargo volume. Dragon's extensive flight heritage, larger payload, and dual cargo and crew roles affirm its status as a battle-tested workhorse, while Haolong targets a niche in China's Tiangong cargo resupply with long-term ambitions for routine and cost-effective spaceplane operations. Shifting from uncrewed spacecraft to crewed missions, China is set to launch its next-generation crewed spaceship, Mengzhou-1, in 2026, according to the China Manned Space Agency. Mengzhou-1 is a major upgrade of the Shenzhou crewed spacecraft, featuring a modular design with a return capsule and a service capsule. Its primary mission will be to transport astronauts between Earth and the Tiangong space station. The maiden flight of Mengzhou-1 is planned atop the Long March 10A carrier rocket launching from the Wenchang Space Launch Site in southern Hainan province. Once in orbit, it will dock with the radial port of the space station's core module, marking another step forward in China's human spaceflight program.